Hello and welcome. Today we will needle felt a unicorn like this one. For this project you will need a needle felting mat, some white wool batting, also some yellow batting, and a bit of black batting, colored merino top for the tail and mane, felting needles, 36 gauge triangle and 38 gauge star. You can also use plastic or glass safety eyes. Let's get started. We will make the body of the unicorn first. Take a piece of white batting and make a roll. The roll should be about 3 to 3.5 three inches long and about 1.5 to 2 inches wide. Take the 36 triangle needle and start poking around the roll evenly. Try to insert the needle deep and do not poke in the same spot. Do not bend the needle while it's inside the wool. You might easily break it. Remember that the tip of the needle is very fragile. It's also very sharp, so be careful not to prick your fingers. Look at the spot that you are felting all the time. As you poke, the wool felts and your shape becomes firmer. Try to form a torso of the unicorn in this way. The target torso size is about 3 inches long and about 1.5 inch wide. Try to felt from all sides evenly. You need to felt from inside out, so when you start to felt, push the fibers deep into the middle of the roll. Do not felt just the surface. The 36 triangle needle is used for coarse work. To form the base shape and felt the fibers deep. The 38 star needle is more delicate and is used more for surface felting and details. This process takes a bit of time, but then the more you felt, the better quality your toy is going to have. It becomes firmer as you felt. When the body is done, let's make the neck. Take a smaller piece of wool and make a smaller roll. The length of it should be about 2 inches. Needle felt the neck in the same way as the torso, but leave fibers at one end of it loose. We are going to use them to attach the neck to the torso. Use a 36 triangle needle. When your neck has the same firmness as the torso, we'll put them together. Apply that one end with loose fibers to the torso and start pushing the wool inside using 36 triangle needle. Insert the needle deep and felt all around the neck to achieve a stronger bond. You can also add more wool to create the chest and perhaps to hide the boundary with the neck if it's strongly articulated. For that, just take a small piece of wool, put it over the chest and felt with 36 triangle needle. 
You can also take a smaller piece and cover the back of the neck. Felting is like sculpting with wool, although it's much easier to add wool to an item than remove it. Next, we will create the head by adding the muzzle to the neck. Let's create another piece similar to the neck, but perhaps twice shorter. Use the same technique and remember to keep fibers loose at one end to be able to attach it to the neck. Remember to needle felt evenly across your shape. Be careful with needles as you felt smaller parts. It's easy to get distracted and prick your fingers. When the muzzle is firm enough, attach it to the neck the same way we attached the neck to the torso. Keep felting for a bit so that you have a strong bond between parts. Now let's make the legs. Technique is going to be the same as with the neck or muzzle, but the legs are going to be slightly thinner and longer. Take four equal strands of wool. It's important to measure the equal amount of wool for all four legs in the beginning so that they are the same size. Start making the small roll and felting legs, using again the 36 triangle needle. When rolling smaller shapes, you can use the felting mat for more grip. Makes it easier to roll wool. Here I flatten the hoof parts. You can either do the same or leave them round. Felt four legs in this manner. Make sure they are all of the same length, so that your unicorn can stand. When you have made the four legs, let's attach them to the torso. We will do all this work with 36 triangle needle. When attaching the legs, again, pay attention that they are the same length. As with the head and the neck, felt deep and thoroughly so that the legs are well attached. To make the transitions between the legs and the body smoother, take a very thin piece of batting Cover them and felt with 36 triangle needle. I also add some wool at the back side of the torso to articulate it slightly. Now let's make the eyes. 
Here I show how to fold them if you don't have any plastic or glass eyes. I will also show how to use glass eyes at the end of the tutorial. To make the eyes from wool, take two equal tiny pieces of black batting and roll them into small balls in your fingers. Then felt them using 38 star needle. Direct the individual fibers accurately to shape your eyes. It's better to use a finer 38 gauge needle for this delicate work. Next, I'll show you how to make the mouth. Take a small piece of black batting and make a tiny long roll in your fingers. Then felt it into the muzzle using 38 star needle. Now let's make the horn. We will use the yellow batting for that. We need to get a small and sharp cone shape from wool with the fibers loose at the root so that we can attach it. To form that kind of shape, start with a flat shape on the mat. Then poke in a shape of triangle a couple of times. This will make it easy to fold the flat shape into a sharp triangle that we will eventually fold into a cone. See how I do it in the video. You can use either needle for making the horn. When the horn is well felted, we attach it to the head. But this time you need to make sure you push all the horn loose yellow fibers into the spot directly under the horn. Otherwise you are going to have a yellow spot around the horn. Also, don't poke too deep so that the yellow fibers start showing on the chin. If you accidentally get some yellow fibers around the horn or on the chin, you can always cover them with more white wool. But try to just take time and be accurate when attaching the horn. Next, we make the ears. They are similar to the horn, but flatter and more triangular. To make the ears, take two equal pieces of white batting and make two triangular shapes with one end loose. Follow the video to see in details how to do that. Let's attach the ears to the head. Now 
when attaching slightly bend the ears to make them round at the base. You can make nostrils by poking in the same spot with 36 triangle needle. Let's make the mane. Take a piece of colored merino top. Typically we don't cut the wool with scissors as it makes it harder to felt. In this case, as we are not going to use the fiber edges, you can either cut the wool or you can split it by pulling gently on the sides. By doing this, you are already just preparing the length and shape of your mane. Put the merino top on the head so that its middle comes between the ears. Attach the mane by poking the tops in a line that goes from ears to the lower neck. Poke only on that line and go back and forth. Use 36 triangle needle and insert it deep. You can make the bone firmer by poking on outer side of the mane as well. You can later style the hair to your liking. Take some more merino top and make the tail. Fold it in half and attach it to the torso by felting around the same spot. Last but not least, I will show you how to touch glass eyes. Poke the eye holes a bit to create small dimples. Then put some glue on the eye wires and insert them in. If it's still hard to insert them, you can make holes using sharp scissors or an owl. Congratulations, your unicorn is done. You now have a great woolen toy that you have made yourself. If you enjoyed the tutorial, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I also sell a needle felting kit with materials for this unicorn. You can find the link to it in the video description.